Yo, what is going on, Shoeboy Endless? Checking back in for another video. Today we're going to be reviewing a wallet called Exodus Wallet. It's a cryptocurrency wallet where you can keep your crypto. I use this myself. This isn't a sponsored video or anything, and I'm also not a financial professional. So, you know, just take this is just my opinion of a wallet that I like to use, and I figured, hey, why don't I make a video on it and share it on my YouTube channel and show everybody how the wallet works and what I like about it. So as you can see here on the screen of my computer, it's there's a link down in the description below. It's called exodus.io. And what this is, is it's a cryptocurrency wallet. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go on ahead and just watch the quick two minute long video, or you can jump through. But let's start. Hello and welcome to the new Exodus application platform. Exodus is simplifying how we interact with crypto applications so that we can all reap the rewards of decentralized finance and crypto apps without having to be blockchain geeks. No more having to download separate apps. No more visiting websites that require multiple steps just to send crypto from point A to point B. No more long user manuals or boring video tutorials. If you're still using the old Exodus layout, hop on over to settings. You'll notice a new tab labeled apps. Get in there and flip the toggle on to unlock a new world with crypto applications. Otherwise, just click the plus sign up top to quickly add new apps. Now, there aren't many apps yet, but this is just the beginning. New apps are already being tested and redesigned to build upon the Exodus experience. Let's install these apps and take a quick peek. I'm going to click the Exodus logo in the top left hand corner, which acts as a home button. Here we see the portfolio of our moon landing holdings. Notice the app icons at the top of the window. The first one being the portfolio, which gives you an overview of your holdings and their value, along with asset prices and other real-time market details. The second app is the wallet. This is where you can manage your crypto and do things like find your unique address, send crypto to a friend, and stake popular assets like Tezos and Cosmos so you can earn rewards and interest on your crypto holdings. The third app is the exchange app. Exodus was built around the ability to instantly and easily exchange one asset for another with no account sign up and directly from your wallet, which means you are always in control of your assets and private keys. Next is Compound Finance, where you can earn a high interest rate on your crypto savings, deposit die with no limits, and withdraw anytime. Again, with Exodus, your funds are always under your control. Here we have SportX the ultimate sports and esports betting app, where you can place instant bets on sports such as football, golf, UFC fights, and even esports like League of Legends. This happens directly from your wallet without having to sign up for an account or give up any personal information. Moving to the right, we see options to view your transaction history, the support section, which has help videos and ways to contact Exodus 24 seven support, settings where you can sync your mobile wallet or set up a Trezor hardware wallet, and the app browser. Give the new Exodus a spin, check out the new apps, and let us know in the comments what other apps you'd like to see in your wallet. And remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more crypto videos from Exodus. All right, so that was just a quick rundown of the video on here for the Exodus crypto wallet, just explaining everything. So now let's go on ahead and download this. Now this is just, um, you know, just a tutorial on how to use it and uh, download it. So let's, you're on the website, go up here to the top right, click download. It will go over, you know, the latest release and the mobile. Me personally, I have this on my phone and I use it on my phone. Let's go on ahead and download for the browser because this is my desktop. Click download and then it'll ask you which one you want you can do a windows app linux um, i'm gonna do a windows app let it download all right it's downloaded we're gonna go on ahead and open it it'll say installing exodus exodus has been installed you can run it by clicking the shortcut on your desktop or in the app menu so we're going to click ok and let's go on ahead and open up Exodus. So I'm going to minimize this. And here we go on the desktop of my computer. You see Exodus. Let's go on ahead and open it up. And here you go. Here's your Exodus on your desktop computer. Now on this, there are a lot of different cryptocurrencies that are supported on this. And I'll go over them right now. I'll just kind of scroll through. There's a couple that aren't showing here right now, but... 
Look at all these different ones. They have Vet, Tezos, Neo, Cosmos, Algorins, Cardano, Neo, and much more. So if we click down here on Add More, this will show you all the different coins. I want to say there's over 200 cryptocurrencies that this wallet uses. But yeah, these are all the different cryptocurrencies right here. You can see this. And if you want to enable this, like for example, if I wanted basic attention coin, you just click enable asset by that button right there. And if you go back to your main screen by hitting this back button, you will see down here basic attention coin is there so you're ready to receive and send it so you can send and receive another cool thing about this is that you can exchange coins on here so if you wanted to buy cardano you can convert bitcoin for cardano so first you send the bitcoin to your address hit this little drop down right here select what you want in this case we want bitcoin I'm going to drop this down here because I want to receive Cardano. You type in the amount that you want to do and then you click exchange. And typically with Cardano, it takes about 30 minutes to process and you'll see it in your wallet. So that's another really cool thing. It does have a small fee associated with it with exchanging, but it's worth it because it's all within the app. So that's what I that's why I like this uh, this Exodus wallet. So the other thing which I want to show you guys is how to back up your wallet on your desktop. So if you click up here on settings and then go up over here to backup and click on that, you want to create a password. And it says on here, you must remember your password. It cannot be recovered. Your password protects your wallet. It should be different from your other passwords in case someone gets access to your computer. So you want to make sure that you make a very unique password now just because this is just a testing one and i'm just doing this as a tutorial i'll go on ahead and create one i have my password and click next memorize your password it'll ask for it again click next now it's going to ask you to write down your 12 word phrase because this is just a uh, testing one and i'm showing you guys i'm not actually using this wallet i have no problem showing you guys it your secret phrase is hidden and if you hover over it see this look you just hover your mouse over it it will show it so what you want to do is you want to write this down so what you'll do is, is you'll move your mouse over here on one you'll write down you know whatever it is on number one number two and so on for three and four and five six all the way down to twelve see that so then what you'll do is is you can also print this I recommend keeping it in a very safe spot because if for some reason you get locked out from your password and you need to reset to get back in, you need this 12 word phrase. So make sure because it's very, very, very important that you hold on to this. Then you'll click next. Then you'll go on ahead and it'll say check your paper. This is the last step. Which word from the list belongs to your paper backup? And this is more of a test by them. And then you'll click finish. At that point, you have backed up that. You want to, like I said, make sure you write down those phrases. And yeah, that's how you use this. If you have any questions, put it down in the comment section below. I personally like this better on the phone. I feel like it's a little bit more secure on a phone. I have it on my iPhone. I don't download any, um, you know, bad apps or bad software. You know, I just use it for business. But I use mine on my phone. But another very 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 important thing i can't not stress this enough is right here it says quickly restore access to your wallet with your secret 12 word recovery phrase if you click on this it will come up i'm going to click restart this is where you would restore your wallet with your 12 word phase so like i was saying on my phone if i wanted to connect my desktop app with my phone this is where i would type in my 12 word face which only i know that but when you get that your secret wallet code you want to make sure that you hold on to that it's a very 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 important thing now for anybody that's new to this and you're like hey i have money in my bank account i want to know how to send that money from my bank account to this wallet so i can buy some crypto i recommend signing up with coinbase and the Coinbase link is down in the description below. It's pretty self-explanatory on how to set it up. 
just follow the directions on the link and what they can do is they can link your bank account and what what will happen then is is you will make a deposit from your bank account or credit card or debit card whichever one that you please you buy Bitcoin then when you buy Bitcoin you send the Bitcoin to your Exodus wallet which would be right here and then you would click receive you would actually put that address inside your coinbase so that you send that bitcoin to this address and then you can go and swap it on the exchange to buy whatever type of altcoin that you want so but like i said i do prefer the app i find it a little bit more secure on the app just because that's just a personal preference but you can do it here on the desktop if you have any questions or concerns let me know down in the comments below this is endless i hope this benefited somebody out there Thank you and have a wonderful day.